Hi guys, I want to show you some wizardry <laughs> which I have performed on my DM42. And I try my very best to do this as quickly as possible. The idea is why do so much work on the computer if you can have an easier life concentrating on your calculator. What you see is a DM42 in a double sense. It's the DM42 hardware and the DM42 software on it. Okay, and uh, now we want to transform it into a C47. First of all, we have to go into the setup menu as it is called here on the DM42. We go to item one and activate the USB disk. My computer will uh, present us with a window as soon as this has been done. Right, there it is. So we put this away. Okay, now I can change into the directory where this uh, the FAT um, drive of the DM42 is mounted, so to speak. Okay, so we have a script on this um, DM42, which is called REST42 and one which is called REST47. And I'll explain the scripts in a minute. Okay, since we have a DM42 at the very moment, we call restore47 and fire it up and confirmation with yes and off it goes. And now I have to do some small talk because this script restores my latest backup from the C47, then loads uh, the C47 PGM file with the software and the QSPI file, which is a part of the C47 uh, program. So uh, these uh, PGM files are always in pair with a QSPI file with the extension bin. And uh, these files contain certain data the software needs in order to start correctly. That's what you have to know about the process. Okay, the script is uh, ready. Everything's done. And now we start to just do, a, do some key presses on the calculator, just like a recipe, right? It's uh, every time it's the same recipe. So we press exit and confirm this. We press exit. We press five for a system. We press two into the system menu. We press four for the DMCP menu. We press again four to load the QSPI from FAT. Off we go, exit to restart, exit again, exit again. We see the DMCP, we press three to load a program. We choose the C47 program and press enter. And now we press enter again to confirm. The QSPI uh, area gets erased and now rewritten in order to present the correct data to the C47 program, which starts now with uh, exit to start. Now just one confirmation. 
and the C47 is ready, right? Okay, the same thing can be done vice versa. So first of all, I go back into media HMB and on the, on the C47, we have to activate the USB disk here or with the function which does this. Now the computer communicates with the calculator. We get this window, which we put away. And now we can change back to the uh, directory DM42. And just for confirmation, I press LS. We have the data of the calculator here. And what we do now is we call again bash. But what we want is to restore a 42. So we take the other script, right? The 42 script. I fire this up. And this takes also a moment to perform all these transfer and writing uh, things. Yeah, working with a computer often means to wait. Maybe I can do something to have a feedback on the screen when the script is running. Yeah, so ready. Okay, what we do now is we have here the recipe for the 42, REST 42. So first thing is exit, confirm. We are in the C47 again that's clear but we simply change into dmcp now which results here just one shift and then dmcp now step three on my recipe load qspi from fat Okay, now we have exit or any key. Again, an exit. Again, an exit. We are back in DMCP. We press three. We choose the DM42 program here by pressing enter. Again, we have to uh, confirm with enter, QSPI gets erased. We press any key to get out of it. Again, exit. And here we are, back on the DM42. Okay, and now I think you want to know how this works. And this is so easy that I couldn't believe uh, how easy it is. Both scripts do basically the same. They 
copy the whole backup directory and they copy the single files in QSPI and PGM. Same here, right? And I show you the data structure, which is also very easily, easy to understand. Uh, unfortunately, I can't make this bigger. But what we see is, if you look carefully, we have a backup underscore 42. The contents is, is quite clear, I think. A backup underscore 47. Then we have a PGM underscore 47, which contains um, the DM42 PGM file. The same for the 47 here, right here. And then we have two QSPI directories also separated for the 42 and the 47. And these are the scripts which done all the rest, right? So when you have such a folder structure set up, then you just need these two scripts and just follow the recipe. And I have done this uh, already five or six times or even more um, to get all this perfect for the video. Maybe I have one exit or enter command, uh, not in the list here, but <laughs> okay, the, these exits have to be pressed so often uh, that you come to the next command, right? So that's that's really no no miracle at all. But you see, you have uh, ten commands or ten key presses uh, to restore a forty-two, and you have fourteen key presses uh, to restore a C forty-seven, and these are the scripts. Okay, so. Um, what we can have a look at is the console and I change back from this directory and I start just a second. So I start the USB disk again. So you can have a look at the calculator because during the, the video I haven't done anything manually to the structure on the calculator, you know. So let's see how it, how it looks at the moment. And this is the directory on the calculator. And I didn't change anything. I think the goal of this video was to show you how easy it is to change between um, calculator software and uh, how predictable it is. So if it wasn't predictable, I couldn't have programmed it. So it's a proof of concept, so to say. <laughs> and I hope that some of you guys uh, don't have these concerns anymore that something could uh, be broken on, on the DM42. And I have already started a discussion on the Swiss Micros Forum and uh, the developers which um, uh, came into the debate, they all say there is no case of physical damage they've ever experienced. And these guys uh, do uh, changes on the flash drive all the day. You see, it's a predictable process, which is stable, which is reliable. So you can do this, right? That's my message. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.